Now I have these two triangles kind of separated. It's a lot easier for me to be able to now see what's, what corresponding parts that I have that are congruent. And this is a right triangle, so this is going to be my hypotenuse. And I have a pair of hypotenai. Let me go ahead and say that. I need to find that out. Hypotenuses, hypotenai, that's bugging me. So I have a pair of uh, hypotenuses that are uh, congruent with each other. And I also have a pair of legs that are congruent with each other. And that's all that I need. That's all I need. As long as I know it's a right, these two are right triangles, that is sufficient to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So now you do the same on uh, this diagram. You want to redraw this one, so let me do that for you. Let me start out by drawing this. I feel like I'm babysitting you here, chewing your food for you, but let me make it as easy as possible so you don't come back whining to me. So you missed the rabbit, I didn't want to do that, so I just kind of gave up on it. Please don't do that. Okay, so here, that's what I want you to do. Take, bring this one down, and I even labeled it for you, B, C, D, okay? Now what you need to do is take this triangle on the left-hand side, and what are you, you going to do? Rotate this guy around, and then translate it over here, and figure out what the letters should be on here, such that it has the correct orientation. And then take your congruence, what you know about the congruence, and bring that down on your diagram. And then tell me whether or not you have a sufficient amount of information to be able to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Okay? Hope you do well. Make sure that you are exercising that good brain of yours. And may the Lord bless you, and we'll see you soon.